Here is a tutorial to help you to use Kizoa. You want to sign on to www.kizoa.com and this is where you're going to get started. You're going to click your orange button and you need to set up an account. You'll put in an email address. I already have an account but I will enter it in and the site actually provides you with a password. So they'll tell you which one you want to read. And you need to make sure that you um, click I have read and accept the terms and then you click get started. So it will take a moment for you to go ahead and get started. And one of the things that you want to do is to make sure that you have a, all of your pictures ready to go so that you can quickly make a slideshow. In order to make the slideshow, you're going to start to add images to this board. I've already done uh, a lot of the adding, so how you do that is just press that plus sign. You can go to my computer, or if you have a Facebook account, you can use your Facebook. Of course, at school, we can only use our computer. So you would slide down and choose the particular photo that you want. I already placed all of mine that I wanted to use into a folder ahead of time. But you could um, go through your desktop, you can go through your um, library of pictures, you can get them from Google, however you want to get the particular pictures that you choose. And I'm actually going to grab one from right here. Uh, there you go. And so you can see how it uploaded. And this is the screen that you'll receive. And at this point, I can go ahead and make my slideshow. Or I can click this button down here to continue to add my pictures. So we'll add one more so you can see how that's done. And again, I'll grab it from my desktop because I had my other ones already included. We'll slide down here. And we'll choose a different one. And let's see, here's a title. There we go. And that's the end of those photos that I want to use. And I'm going to click Make a Slideshow, because you can make a slideshow, a collage, or even a movie or video. We're going to choose this. And we want to choose a template that we would like to use. And they're very different, and you can actually change it. Each one has music, um, but you'll need that in your library in order to add it in. <coughs> but you can add different effects, like the stars that you're seeing or the transitions as well, like you can in a PowerPoint. Um, so it gives you a lot of different options. So I'm just going to choose, uh, let's see, scroll through. And we'll choose this really nice one. See how that is. go next and that's going to choose what I want and then I can select my images so where I have some duplicates like this one up here I don't have to use those and we'll choose some of our photos and just click on the ones that you want And then it will keep track so you know that you're not getting duplicates. Plus you can see down below which of these that you would like. I believe I have a high school one. And I think we'll leave it at that. So I have my photos that are selected and go next. Great. And you'll get to preview your actual slideshow before you see what you want to do to it. So those are the transitions that are already added in, and you can go ahead and do that. And it's cutting off some pieces because you can see middle. Once you have previewed and you decide that you like it, you can hit save. And you want to add a title, Miyashiki, save. And I want to go through and I want to add some things to my collage. So I can either save it and send it now, or I can start to um, change some of the things that I want with each of the picture. So, and I can add uh, transitions. 
some effects. I can add text or I can um, create animate animations and music to this. So I'm going to add some effects. So let's see, we can add some dolphins. We can add, uh, let's see, we'll add some hearts on this one. And just slide it on. So there's how it will look. Those are the hearts for my falcon. And once you have chosen the transition and you like it, you need to validate it. Um, so here we go. And just hit that validation. And then we can go through and add different ones. We can add text. Uh, so you drag the text effects onto the photo. A dialog box will pop up and type your text, then choose the font color and shadow that you want. So add your text, whichever one you can look through. I'm just going to put that right here. And my text bubble is here. We can put we, whoop, I'm going to erase that. We love Nashby. And I'm going to leave that text or, oh no, here we go. Uh, maybe I'll make that a little smaller. There we go. Or a little lighter. I might actually leave it just like that. There we go. And you can change the color of it if you so choose, but you don't, I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it at that. Great. And then again, validate, and that will add it to there. And if I wanted to go like this, let's see, I could add some animations. And again, dragging the animations onto the slideshow. And let's see, we'll put some hearts on here. And we'll validate that little heart. You can position it wherever you want um, to modify that. You can change that, but I just left it the same. So you have lots of things that you can add to your slideshow. And once you're done, you can hit save. And I could send it to myself by email, which I'm going to. And then I could add it to more contacts if I so choose, but I'm good. <laughs> and there's my slideshow. Um, I had made one earlier too. And here it is. And at this point, if I wanted to, I could embed it into my blog or to our website, put it up on YouTube, Facebook, email. I can still edit it if I so choose, or I can delete the whole thing. So this gives you an idea. And where that picture just says middle, I can actually go back in and adjust that picture so it's a little bit smaller too. So it's nice that it has options. So that's how you can make a slideshow.